Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Flat Earth. Hashtag space is fake. <laughs> Birds aren't real. <laughs> hey, really everyone. Insane. What's up, guys? Hi. Space is fake. Flat Earthers, right here. Just, All of us. Just look into it. Birds, birds <laughs> aren't real. I've done the research. Just look, look into, into it. it. You can watch so many YouTube videos, you don't even know. Because YouTube is a credible source now. Yeah. Always. Just like Wikipedia. So, hello. We're back. <laughs> we're going to do some D&D. &D. Are we? We yeah. are. D&D. And, &D. and, and, and we were wrong last time. This is episode 49. This is 49. Not 50. Yeah. We were excited, but it's okay. Next episode, we'll yeah. be excited. So, so we'll be Pat, popping bottles. Like, Pat, if you want to go with the, uh, the, the recap. Okay. Uh, quick recap of the last episode. Uh, we were... Finally, on decent enough terms with Esmeralda that she let us stay inside, which was very nice of her. Um, she did say that. And we discussed what Rufio had to do, which was go to the Blackthorn Den and cause murder. Uh, everybody came with. Uh, it was not something that Rufio had intended, but in the, in the moment, changed his mind. And... Then a fight ensued in which uh, shit went down. It was pretty aggressive, uh, and we kind of left off while Rufio was smashing brains into the ground, kind of very Bruce Willis a la Sin City. So, good reference. Thanks. Uh, good movie. <clears throat> yeah, great, great series. Uh, let's let's get back to the headspace of it. Um, so, we'll we'll go from the outside kind of point of view. Uh, the four of you, along with your new werewolf associate, I don't know, acquaintance, Petrov, kind of sitting out. Things are tense. And very slowly but surely, you see Rufio start to come out of the cave, and he's just covered in head to toe in blood and gray matter all over his knuckles. But it seems to be, hes I mean, he's fucked, but he looks to be coming out of the cave. Role play. <laughs> Drink every time I say and role play. <laughs> okay. It's too early for this. Ooh, vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of see dirt and he kind of like <clears throat> gasps because he was he was pretty sure Rufio was gonna like die. <laughs> and he just happy weeping of joy. Or crying of joy. Not <laughs> weeping. How'd your talk go? He understands my point now. I, um... Do I still have... I still have cloth. I still have, like, shreds of cloth. I take some of it, and I walk up to Rufio, and I hand it so he can clean off his, his hands and shit. Didn't realize that, uh... It was noticeable. Yeah, A little you, bit. You kinda... It looks like someone... Like, you're a candy apple, and you just kinda got dipped... And then you kind of came out of it. Like, this is like... Huh. But the candy is blood. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're bloodier than most. Good observation. Yes. Well, we, uh, we have a werewolf army now. Hey, Petrov. Hmm. You're now his bitch. Are you a werewolf? No. So I, this I, is kind of a conjunction. So, <laughs> yes, we will fight with you, because definitely 100% that was deal. But then, you know, we have some things we gotta discuss, like, later, like, what's gonna happen with the pack, the economy of next pack, what are you gonna do about vacation days? No vacation days. That is. Okay. I mean, we have laws, but... I'm well, still yeah. wiping the blood of your old leader off my face. I think we can talk about that later. Yes, no, definitely. Okay. There's a handbook. Maybe this yeah. will help when I hand a canker shift. I was like, maybe... They're... Does anyone have present digitation? Because you can just go, boop. Nope. To clean them off. Right, cool. I'll just use mask of many Carlos, faces and just clean it up. A bit. But even you though it's on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. You're just going to smell. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to see it, but you're going to know it's there. Oh, great. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, so where do we go from here? It's like the middle of the night, and I'm kind of beat to shit. So Is there anywhere for us we to can... sleep here? Petrov? I mean, you are more than welcome to stay into the caverns. It's just we might have to clean up some stuff and make a few beds. 
but works for me. Okay, give me give me a few moments, and you see him kind of shuffle off. Just you know, he's trying to kind of gather around. Um, you know, his alpha just died. There's a new, some weird new intermediate intermediate alpha, like a transitioning alpha now, and he's just like, I just got to make some fucking bets. So he just, he's going in, and you see the rest of the guards, they kind of like, they still stay their post, but you can hear some shuffling inside the cave. Uh, as he walks away, I'll I'll kneel immediately and start to pray. Okay. And uh, just reach out to Hor mm-hmm. and be all, you know, we did it. The, the first leg of the journey is completed and you feel in your heart you feel that fire rage a little bit harder than it has before and you hear in your head you did good kid not done yet no <clears throat> now get up so uh that went poorly for him uh how are you looking been better he I used the scythe to like hit him and I don't know how he did it but it cut me open too and it was a weird kind of thing that happened but regardless he uh he told me this isn't over what do you mean it didn't it didn't start with the the werewolf pack. They were hired. By who? Someone who I... I can't believe is still alive. It's a long story for another time. I'm kind of tired and beat to shit. I just got one question before we go to bed, though. This person's not still in Barovia, are they? I don't... I don't think they've ever been in Barovia. Okay, good. I want to get the fuck out of here. (laughs) We're on our way out, Shark. Esmeralda kind of, like, looks you up and down. Alright. Looks like, uh... We have some decisions we have to make in the morning. But, uh... Let's try to rest up. And we're walking inside. I'll just throw an arm on or like a, a hand on Dirt's shoulder and be mm-hmm. like, "You really? You didn't think I was coming out, did you?" Oh no, I thought you were gonna be putty, but I, t- I had hope, definitely. I was Thanks worried for about you. the uh, vote of confidence. Appreciate that. I was worried. I'll shove him. <laughs> <laughs> shove him in the bushes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you should have been like in your face, finger. little kid. Smell the finger. Smell That's this. dead werewolf. <laughs> uh. So, uh, you guys kind of get go into these different rooms, and actually, no, it's one kind of, like, bunk. It looks like it's a barrack, so there's at least, like, two sets of rooms that have about four sets of bunk, or two sets of bunks in each, so four people to a room. Um, so if you, there are, what, six of you now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. roughly, you guys can split up and, and whatnot, or Esmeralda's gonna look at you. I'd like to take my own room, if that's if that's okay. As much as I want to hang out with the dude sesh. Not really fond of it. Okay. Well, we own, there's only four beds per room, right? Yeah, I guess one of you is going to have to sleep on the floor. Not it. And Dirt's like, I don't mind. Oh. Uh, <laughs> poor, poor thought. <laughs> I've never had a bed. <laughs> uh, well, this is my den now, so... I'm going to definitely not be sleeping on the bunk beds with the boys. You guys can kind of sort that out. And I'm going to go into the room with Esmeralda and, like, start putting the stuff on the floor. Okay. Let's sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, sure. We'll get to that. Uh, what are we doing in the in the dude's, the dude's room? Uh, is there anything? Is it just a plain barracks? Yeah. I mean, it's there's not like no tiger beat like posters on the wall. <laughs> I didn't know if there was any any anything interesting. No, nothing too interesting. You see, like uh, they pretty much just made it with like simple sheets. It's a simple mattress on top of another simple mattress. Okay. Yeah. Sure. If you want to call quality of bunk, the mattress, call it now. <laughs> top bunk. No, I was gonna see if they had Skinamax. Skinamax. There's no TV. 
Damn, gotta use the the old imagination. Uh, you can check the quality of the mattress if you'd like. I would like to check the quality. <laughs> okay, go for it. Investigation? Or? Yeah, investigation, yeah, yeah. 11. Okay. Uh, so checking them out, three of them are uh, just kind of like a crude straw mattress. But there's one that's on the top. It's a nice Tempur-Pedic. You put a nice little, like, glass of wine on there. You jump around all you want. That glass ain't fucking tipping over. Dibs on this one. I already called top bunk, bitch. It's Tempur-Pedic. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. It's part of the Swedish uh, sleep system. <laughs> <laughs> and I hop up onto the bed. Okay. Like, I'm here. So. I hop up on him. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, my God. Uh, how much do you weigh? You just killed him. Uh, 285 pounds. Okay, I, anyone I on the bottom bunk? <laughs> Not yet. I'm not getting in there. Great. So, Thok, you and Dirt are watching this, and Absy's like, it's Swedish. And Shard's like, I don't know what that is. And you hear, (laughs) and the bunk just immediately just destroys the bottom bunk. And they're just kind of sitting, looking at each other. You're sleeping on the floor. You're sleeping on the floor. You broke the bed. I called top bunk. You're too big. Well, now it's the bottom bunk, so... (laughs) You're not here. <laughs> well, now it's the bottom bunk. <laughs> I was really calling it because that mattress just looked better. Maybe I have a more keen sense than you do about mattresses. Hey, hey Shart. What? Sucks to suck. <laughs> You're sleeping on the floor. You're sleeping on the floor. <laughs> You're closer to the floor. What was what? that? I, was he trying to... like? You're sleeping the on the floor. I don't know. Make me. It was like... So do you you're sleeping get, like, on the floor. I'll go on the top and you'll go no, on I the call bottom. This bed. I'll take the bottom. All right, I pull out my dagger. Oh, okay, let's do it. Yeah, I'll take the bottom. Let's, so, see, let's see how so this works out. So you see Bach and Dirt slowly go over to the other bunk and you see them taking off their armor. What are you guys doing? Oh, he's trying to attack me. Okay, go. Uh, for yeah, it. I took. I just took out my dagger. Yeah, roll an attack. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not attacking him. Yet. Oh, okay. I'm it's brandishing my weapon. Great, it's a threat. So he's threatening you. Yeah, I know. I I called this bed. So you broke the bed. So you can stay on the floor. Because you tried to take it from me. I called dibs. That's how it works. You're sleeping on the floor. You broke the bed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up and put him next to the bed. And I'm going to pull the other mattress out from underneath. <laughs> As he picks me up, I stab him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Go ahead and roll an attack while you're pulling the other bed. <laughs> You don't want to sleep side by side. 22. <laughs> I mean, you hit him. It, it hits. Okay. <laughs> Shart's still <laughs> moving the bed. Natural 20. Uh, seven. Oh, wow. That hurts so bad. It's still You're mine. sleeping on the floor. No, I'm sleeping on a mattress. I'm pulling it out for you. Uh, Rufio's going to come out and be like, stop fighting. Jesus Christ. He broke the bed. He guy called dips. I'm going to cast hold person on both of them. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, it's a wisdom save of 15. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why I don't prep that much. I know what's going Natural on. Natural 20. Man. Uh, 9. Okay, so he's frozen for a minute. Cool. And I'm just going to go back in the room. I'm just going to close the door. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, so it. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that helps. So yeah, we'll, we'll move over back to that. Yeah. So they can... <laughs> figure out the bed situation. <laughs> if I hit you right now, I kill you. So it's, very, it's very tense. Um, so it's only for a minute. For a yeah, while, yeah. you you and Esmeralda are kind yeah. of um, <laughs> a little quiet, like she's unpacking her stuff. And it's two, instead of bunk beds, it's actually two like separate like beds, like mm-hmm. single beds. And she's just kind of putting her stuff down and She's pretty quiet, but you hear from the other room like, No, I'm doing the mattress. I'm going you. <laughs> Uh, I'm called dibs. And so you you have your your outburst and you kind of come back in and she's like, is everything okay in there? Well, they ruined a bunk bed. (laughs) So it's better than I thought it was going to go. Okay. Have you considered that you guys destroy everything you touch? Yes. Yes. Because that seems to be the consensus at this point. At least when Absidy is involved, typically things get destroyed or stolen. Yeah, I've noticed that. He's got sneaky fingers. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to talk about what happened in there? It was... <clears throat> it was a lot. Uh, I've... 
never... He shifted back from werewolf to man Mm. and said if I was going to kill him, I was going to look in his eyes. So it was some heavy shit. And it didn't change a thing. You see her and she kind of pulls into her bag and she pulls out this uh, glass bottle that seems to have this amber liquid in it. And she sits in front of her her bed. Like, you guys kind of have the parallel bed. So she's on the edge of hers with the vertically where the, the bed is. It's to her back. And she kind of gestures and you kind of plop down on by your bed. And there's at least an arm's length distance. So she takes a swig of the bottle and she hands it to you. And as you take a sip, it's this very smooth brandy that she's, you know, been holding on to. What didn't change about it? You said that he was working for someone. It, was he not the leader? You, the whole order of the Black Thorn thing? No. He... He's the gopher. He's the figurehead leader. But he's not... It's my uncle. That's fucked up. Yeah. I... Would... Would my father have told me about the story about smelly it i don't think he would have but I yeah think i don't duke think so would have. okay i think duke would have been like when i met your father it was so this. my adopted uncle duke told me a story the first time him and my father met it was to stop my uncle from becoming a lich Oh, shit. And if what this wolf told me is to be believed, the first time it didn't take, they stopped him. But he's definitely a lich now. And he took the werewolves of the Blackthorn clan and dropped them into my house. And... Here we are. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm going to take another pull. Yeah. And uh, try to, like, bandage the giant fucking gash in my chest. And you see her. She rolls her eyes, and you kind of see her make an arcane sigil, and she'll cast cure wounds on you. Oh, cool. And she'll help you start (laughs) dressing the wound. You're not very good at this. No, uh, that's why I wear armor, and it didn't do anything. Yeah. He must have had some kind of blood magic. It had to be. Nothing like I've ever seen before. Yeah. So I just kind of punched his head into the ground. <laughs> A lot. Yeah. How'd that feel? Smushy. Smushy. Definitely have a way with words. Yeah. And she chuckles. A little shocked. A little bit still. Beside myself. Sure. And you kind of have this comfortable silence. And uh, we'll move We'll move back over to what the fuck's going on with the bunk sitch <laughs> situation. How we doing? What's going on, boys? Well, it's been a minute. It's been well, a hot minute. I was going to say, while well, he was frozen. <laughs> what you do in your minute? Well, he was frozen. I pulled. I finished pulling out the crappy mattress, and I just mm-hmm. laid down on it because I don't care anymore. Okay. Aw. Hey, Dirt, this pillow Good. is fluffier. Do you want the fluffier pillow? Oh, no, that's okay. I mean, you probably want to support your neck. I, I, I'm i pretty I'm pretty simple. I'm the same here. Oh, I appreciate it. No problem. Why can't you be like that? <laughs> you got what you wanted, didn't you? Shut up. <laughs> I got a baby roof. Do you want to split it? <laughs> I'll take the smaller end. No, it's, uh, I'll, I'm going to measure it out. <laughs> it's even pieces of chocolate. Dang. We're uh, best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, yeah. how lit is is the room? Oh, it's so lit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking lit. <laughs> there's like there's one 
there's one like sconce like is in the, the doorway is it so are they torches or yeah is it, it's like a, it's it's a it torch a in a sconce so <laughs> no it's like a 40 watt <laughs> <laughs> but is, is it a is it a torch or is it like an enclosed glass it's a torch i mean okay. you're in a cave that's why I'm, okay yeah so it's not it's not it's very archaic something that they can light relight so yeah it's just a simple torch that's kind of filling the the room and that's how the whole cave is mm -hmm. okay yeah bye curiosity curiosity good thing i'm not a cat because he'd kill me oh, Jesus like Christ. the saying i'm new in town <laughs> john mulaney's coming out <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh what else guys uh was i'm gonna take my off obviously i took my armor yeah. off and then like um i'll go ahead and like since we're sleeping and we're comfortable and haven't slept in like just regular pajamas in a while yeah. like uh when i took my shirt off like and i'm putting everything away like just you guys will notice that like i literally have just hieroglyphics just tattooed all over my back like everywhere and this would be um, the first time we've this seen is it the right? first time that you've seen it yeah mm -hmm. but i'm comfortable enough now that i don't mind like y'all seeing it um, and I do have a lot of scars, especially I have eight puncture wounds that haven't really fully healed on my left side. <laughs> <laughs> left side. Gotta use the L's. Yeah. That's like, yeah. So, that's it. Whoa, what happened to your, <laughs> your back? <laughs> what are all those mockings on your back? Um, those came from when Anubis brought me back. I oh, don't wow. exactly know what they mean. But uh, have you, I mean, I didn't get them voluntarily. If you want to sit there, I mean, I can try to see if I can write them down so you can kind of figure it out. Maybe we might can we can find like a book later. Maybe. And maybe we can match up the hieroglyphs. I don't know how many books there are here in Ravel or uh, Barovia. What the hell are we thinking? Barovia, but I mean, we could uh, when we get out. Yeah, why not? Let's have goals when we get out because we're getting out. Oh, no, we're getting out. Yeah. Sure. We're getting out. That's the plan. We're getting out. Yeah. Also, what got you right here, man? Those look like some gnarly looking teeth or something. Uh, remember when I said that uh, I walked out of a door without paying attention and I got assassinated and that's how I died the first time? Those were, uh, those were the arrows those that, uh, oh. that uh, I got killed by. So that's where these came from. Um... This one came from a hellhound years ago. This one came from a sword. Like, I just have scars all over. Hey, we all do, man. So how did you come back? So, we, so when I was with my previous party, we were trying to move this sentient, how do I say this? It was alive, but it wasn't alive. Like, it was like a automaton sort of being that we've never seen. And we were trying to get it to its proper location. And no one in my party, I was the one that went down and died. And uh, I don't remember much, but the way that they describe it is that this being wrapped its, I guess, like, tendrils of arcane energy around me and somehow brought me back uh, but from my point of view it was weird because I felt like I was surrounded by sand and dust for it could have been seconds it could have been millennia I don't know because time in the underworld is not the same as linear as here so uh, yeah like it just happened. It just happened. Like, they they didn't know it was going to happen. They called this being a life forge. Um, so, this life forge went ahead and brought me back. Like, we were able to do what we needed to with it and get it to its proper location. It apparently became sentient. And, you know, it didn't know what to do with its life. So, I was like, well, every sentient being belongs to be free. So... Well, I'm glad it did. Yeah. Uh, me too. Yeah, and you've been... I think you've been more helpful than you realize. Thanks. Okay. Yawn. Yawn. So, okay, we'll, we'll go back to on this shit show. Um, 
so yeah well what are we what are we doing uh, Esmeralda's kind of like you guys are kind of how did uh, more chit- how did that go down how do you want it to go down I meant <laughs> your, leg. <laughs> your leg how did that oh oh um I was um I was bit by a uh, by a werewolf when I was younger and before the d- disease spread I kind of Got it cut off. Any of these werewolves? We can solve that right now. <laughs> no, I don't think it was any of these werewolves, no. No, Rudolph, Rudolph helped me. So there's really no chance we find him at any point in the near future? I have no idea. If I knew where he was and he didn't scare off so easily and run away. Yeah, sorry about that. He was going to run regardless. Sorry about the wagon. (laughs) Apology accepted. We'll uh, try and get that kind of solved. Yeah, you're going to. Yeah, we we will. Good. You want Castle Ravenloft? You're going to give me Castle Ravenloft? Yeah, what are we going to do with it? Okay. So then I've what become leader of Barovia? You're gonna hand it out to me, or you're gonna yeah, stay here? I don't uh don't know if I can stay here, but it'd be nice to know that there's somebody here we can come back and see mm-hmm. and or I can come back and see. You and... can come back and see. You would wanna come back here. At the right time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, okay. You're getting you're you're doing that thing again where you're getting nervous. Cool. All why right. Are you, why are you getting nervous? What? I'm not nervous. <laughs> and I was just Rufio's gonna just plop down on the bed. Sh- shut up, I'm not nervous. <laughs> no. Everything's great. I love it. <laughs> she kinda just smirks. And uh she takes another swig and she kinda sits on the edge of her bed. Um yeah. Cool. And you hear her chuckle again. And you kind of hear her like boots clatter and she's changing into her other clothes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Not going to take a peek. Okay. Gentlemen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Supposedly. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Okay. Are you, are you, what are you guys doing? Would we have, would we hear everything they're talking about? Like how uh, thin are these? I mean, the walls are pretty thick. If anything, it's you probably... Well, I thought there was a door in between them. It's not, like, conjoined. Like, he could hear you in the hallway. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, like, yelling kind of like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fuck if yeah. anything, you could hear, like... Okay. And so, you guys all kind of, like, look at each other while you're hearing the mumbling. And you kind of all have, like, a moment where you're, like... <clears throat> Good for him. How do you think it's going in there, dirt? I don't know, like, I kind of want to just put my ear to the door and figure out what's going on. I say do it. Go on. You're a man now. In 13 days. 13? That's not when my birthday is. You said it was in two weeks. It's been 13. uh, Has it been 13? It's been one day. day. It's been a day. That's fam. Yeah. So yeah. Because I care. Thanks fam. Don't forget. And then I did that. And then I kind of look at Doc. Like, Like, he's my best friend. (laughs) <laughs> I don't say that oh, okay. but no I'm just like mm. <laughs> and then Dirk kind of leaves and he comes back in like two minutes it sounds like he's just sitting on his bed he's doing that thing where he gets really nervous around girls <laughs> that's the thing yeah <clears throat> you you didn't notice it when he was talking to her like before when we were in the tower we and got- there's that thing where he's like oh yeah no, that's cool. Oh, like he puffs his chest out a little bit, and uh... yeah, but then he like stutters a lot, and he gets like a flop sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that was. Yeah, yeah. He has a hard time dealing with his other emotions that aren't anger. Preach. <laughs> gets a little soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay, you guys doing anything for the rest of the night? Uh, like before sleep. Yeah. Not before sleep. Are you brushing your teeth? Yes, I'm brushing my teeth. 
doing bedtime yoga. Bedtime calisthenics. No, yoga. <laughs> okay, yoga. I don't want to get my heart rate up. Oh, okay. It's about getting my heart rate down. Okay, great. <laughs> but no, I don't, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, shark? I'm just going to try and... Um try and talk to Paul while I'm sleeping, but I'm gonna, I would say that I'm gonna sleep kind of like, sleep with one eye open, just because we are in a werewolf den, I think it's good to be cautious. Okay. So That's fair. Doc? No. I'm just gonna lay in bed, and uh, we with Fama Torch, I'm gonna start dimming the lights a little bit. Oh, Just okay. to kind of like Cause it's bedtime, y'all. It's bedtime, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rest up, bless up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Josh, what are you doing? All right, is it the middle of the night now? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Okay, Rufio, what are you doing? Uh, so one of the last things I'll do is uh, I'll like walk to the fire really quick, mm -hmm. and I'll look look into the fire and let the Raven Queen know like the next step has been taken. Like, yeah, I'm I'm closer. <clears throat> We're we're close. Yeah. So she knows that I'm coming to to start to some help. shit. Yeah, to to be a, you know aidful in this mm -hmm. battle that she's fighting. And then I'll kind of turn and look. Where's Esmeralda at in the room? She she's kind of on her bed and she has her. She's got like kind of this ledger open. Mm -hmm. her, her boobs are out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I sleep. No, she's got like a she ledger. She just gets open. straight titty. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and she's she's kind of watching you move back and forth from like the room. Are you doing that thing where you have something on your mind and you're like, and you just sigh a lot? And you're just kind of pacing, or? Oh, uh, no. I'm standing, like, right in front of the fire and, like, just looking directly in it very intently. Yeah. But, like, to a point where you're like, oh, is he dead? Is, is he okay? Is he meditated? Yeah. What happened? Is he frozen? I don't. So, yeah, very, just very intently. And mm -hmm. then I'll turn my head to look at her. Okay. <clears throat> and she she's looking at you. Just, there, I have a lot of patrons to talk to. They like to know stuff sure yeah so do you have like a lot of voices in your head sometimes <laughs> okay and what do you do to not you know listen to those voices do you get any kind of like peace from that i don't know if it's peace it's uh a productive outlet more than anything Productive outlet. Yeah. That's a five gold word. Yeah. It, I'm not well adjusted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Learning how to be well adjusted and using some feelings that I had in a productive way. And this is, believe it or not, as like I kind of look at my hands and mm -hmm. like squeeze them. It's getting better than it was. She kind of closes the book and rests it on her lap, and she kind of sighs. That's good. I mean, you're getting more out of it than just rage. Yeah? It's been a process. And I'll slowly start to walk over, and mm -hmm. I'll, like, Rufiel sit on her bed and just kind of like... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and she kind of, she's like, anything else on your mind? Uh, e mm. And he'll like, uh, I'm smoother than this in real life. <laughs> I am. Okay. I put on big mouth and then I get fucked. <laughs> That's true. I've had sex every time I watch big mouth. Um... And he'll, like, put his hand on her leg. Which one? <laughs> the one that has a leg. Okay, good. A full leg. I want to make sure that it's not like, clink. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. And she doesn't pull away. And so she kind of smirks and she's like, so it's like that. If it's allowed to be like that... <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna look at you she's gonna put the, the book down to the side probably want to put out the torch and put these beds together Rufio shoots up yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
So roll for bonage. <laughs> roll, roll for bonage. Roll to not prejack. Um. Oh. So you, I mean, you just kind of like you're like kid in a candy store. It's probably if anything. If oh, the torch needs to go out. Eldritch blast. Bang. Hole <laughs> <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> Throws it in the hallway. Oh <laughs> I hope this doesn't light on fire. Um, We're in a cave. This is fine, right? Boom. <laughs> uh, snuff out the flame. <laughs> Kind of put the the beds together and pan to the lit the burnt out uh, torch. Do I hear the, the beds coming together? Because I have a high passive perception. I mean, if are you trying to be stealthy? I don't think he's trying to be stealthy with it. So hell so. yeah. So you hear the beds scraping, and actually all four of you are just like, <laughs> and you hear, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> and you just hear pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. <laughs> I'm like, mm. uh, bare feet slapping on stone. Are you sure it's bare feet slapping on stone? It is, because <laughs> nothing's happened yet. <clears throat> Let's hope he, you know, he's a lot smoother than... I'm like a baby, he was? I'm like a baby seal. So to give there. him privacy, I'm just gonna, like, whisper some words to the door and cast silence. Oh, <laughs> good on you, man. Just, aw. And there's a moment, and then you hear everyone just kind of do... <sighs> roll over. Good for him. Good, good for you. Good for you. Thanks, Mean Joe. Um, <laughs> and I'd so, well, I'll go in a slight description. It's very, it's um, it's very passionate and not gentle, uh, but it's fun as shit. You have a lovely time, um, but you know, you you also kind of take the time to like appreciate each other. You see the different kind of battle scars each one of you have like. Inflicted I'm bleeding and on her. You're not bleeding. Everything's <laughs> sealed. No, everything's sealed. <laughs> Accidentally pull off her leg. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, everything's like kind of like your wounds are sealed up and everything, but you kind of like bandaged. Yeah, everything. Like you both are both warriors, and this is just kind of like it's a pre- it's, it's fan appreciation week. It's fan appreciation it's week. Post kill sex. Yeah, it is. I mean. Yeska knows how that feels. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's six. Uh, <laughs> and missing still. We gotta get him on a milk carton. <laughs> you gotta find a milk carton. Um, but it's kind of like, uh, it's very similar to what I said to Absidy. Like, when everything's kind of said and done, and you guys are kind of wrapped in each other's arms, there's this kind of like, that perpetual fire that you're constantly putting logs on and feeding and revenge and I need to protect, like everything just kind of goes quiet and you're not thinking of Strahd. You're not thinking of your family. You're not thinking of dirt. You're thinking about this moment right now. And you're just, you're with someone who, you know, gets it. Someone that gets you on a molecular level and you just kind of, you're able to, to rest for like the first time, I want to say in, in an incredibly, incredibly long time, way before even Barovia. So it's a good night's sleep. Heard you have that. a great night's sleep. Actually, take a, a d6 of inspiration. Ooh. So what that, what fuck, does that mean? He's got that <laughs> fuck energy. You put it so put it side. in your stuff, okay. and then... I, I hit the inspiration <clears throat> button. Just to remind you. Okay. Yep. So I'll let you use that whenever you... Uh, you would like to. You can use it on attacks, like saves. You add a d6 extra. Nice. She, did, got, so she got that goo goo. Does that just, if you have it like activated, does mm-hmm. that just mean you have it? That just, it's, it's to, to remind, remind you, you that you have oh, okay. it. The amount of times that I've accidentally clicked that. <laughs> You're like, fuck, <laughs> shit. So I'm not inspired by shit. Ass. <laughs> shit, ass. Um, so, what are you doing? Uh, now that everyone's <laughs> kind of like <clears throat> sleeping. Settled. Okay, I'm just gonna go out into the the cave and just explore. And thought goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. You're I'm dreaming. Out. I'm out. You're dreaming, bitch. <laughs> I'm dead to the world. You're dead. Okay, so you're Again. kind of <laughs> you're exploring the cave. So they have different guard shifts. So they kind of they notice you, but they're like, I don't give a shit. This is a tiny person. What's up, guys? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Xander, give him your pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dudes. <laughs> Thanks, dude. What is this reefer? <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm looking for um, any sort of library or weapon store, just anything to give us an edge in the um, upcoming fight. You go into the Kirill's kind of like office, and everything's just fucking shredded up. It looks like they they were able to take away the body, but there's still gray gray matter on the floor. You can see where there are little indents 
into the actual stone that are Rufio fist shaped. Mm-hmm. Um, but there isn't anything as far as like books concerning like uh, the region of Barovia. You could find some ledgers on Valoria and kind of the history in that regard. But nothing that really pertains to Strahd or it seems like this is a faction away from kind of like Strahd and that they kind of leave keep to themselves. Okay. Um any any weapons or items around? Anything that's uh I mean everything's just kind of crude like uh they're werewolves. They don't really use a lot of weapons. You see some like basic rusty swords and shields, but they mostly they're tooth and nail. So okay. there's no real like barracks or like armory or weaponry. Okay. <clears throat> well, that was my walk. Okay. I guess I, I started. If, the, if there's nothing there, there's nothing super crazy. Then I, I walk back and go back to my room. Okay. Um. All right. So the the night is pretty pretty quiet. Short, you're kind of one ear open kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and soon it's your body naturally wakes itself up only because there is no sunlight in this in this cave at all. So it's not like you know the sun comes up and your body's like oh it's it's time to get up now. So I would say you guys all benefit the long rest, uh, and <laughs> you guys all wake up naturally there's no like ringing bell like it's breakfast time you're in a cold cave with on bunk beds and you guys are on broken bunk beds <laughs> i was gonna say former bunk beds <laughs> former bunk beds Shart somehow manages to have his arm completely around ab city only because he has a wide wingspan and the beds are so close to each other <laughs> and doc's so tall actually that his legs are literally like his knees are up and his feet are both firmly on the ground in the monk bed. This is just basically a backrest for him. But you see, you sleep pretty comfortably. Like your hands are on your chest. Hell on me. Yeah, you're kind of like this, <laughs> like a, like a, a pharaoh. Uh, but slowly but surely, you all wake up, and Rufio, you wake up, and uh, Esmeralda's already kind of dressed, and she's like, "You slept pretty hard there. Worked pretty hard. Yeah, you did." And so, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go outside and kind of figure out what the fuck time it is. Yeah. And she's like, you should probably get dressed because they're going to talk. Opens the door. and Getting dressed. So, uh, you guys kind of hear outside of the door, like, <laughs> so you hear her, like, leaving. Mm-hmm. And you guys all kind of, like, shoot up and look at each other. I run out the door. Uh, pitter, patter, pitter, patter. <laughs> okay. I run into his door. <laughs> Which is... That's more of the left, wide open. So you see, like, Rufio putting on pants. <laughs> you did it. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. I don't well, want to talk about it. this. Well, we heard it. Son of, of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you did You're something. Dead. I know things. <laughs> I know how sex works. <laughs> I'm just going to shake my head and continue to get dressed. Oh, he's in bashful. Oh, you've got a glow. Uh, Your wiener's legitimately out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Yeah. And also, nice. (laughs) Way to be open. (laughs) Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So, oh, wait, before I just walk over and I check the mattresses. You check the mattresses? Yeah, just uh, the corners, because I know what happened, <laughs> but I want to know the quality. Uh, you can do, uh, what you call it, an uh, investigation. Both tempered Peter. <laughs> 17. Uh, they're both feather. They're, they're feather stuffed mattresses, Okay. so they're nicer quality. Mm-hmm. You could assume this is like where they had mates, because they're werewolves. So mm-hmm. This is like a a higher kind of like, than, higher than a grunt room. It's the okay. fuck room. Yeah. <laughs> there is a mating room. Okay. Uh, this there. isn't it, but <laughs> we didn't. It's, it's do more it of a pit. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. That was it. That's what I wanted. So once I get up, yeah. I'll uh, I'll look for, I'll I will I will look for my scythe and not find it. Yeah. You'll oh, you'll no. definitely look for your scythe. Then it's yeah. just it is nowhere to be found. WTF, mate. I'm still getting dressed in the other room. Like yeah, I'm taking like time. I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mortal needs. <laughs> Sins of the flesh. Yeah. So I'll just like look around. I'll be like, uh, Absidy, can you? I I can't find 
my scythe. You, where did you put it? I thought I put it with all my stuff in this pile. I mean, I got, I got undressed kind of quickly. Were like, the beds already uh, like already like this, or were they like Lucy and Ricky beds? Were they like on the other <laughs> sides of? They the... were. They were Lucy and Ricky beds. Okay, so maybe they're under the. And he kind of goes, "No, nope, okay, that's underwear." <laughs> um, oh, that's where those are. Okay, I'm gonna go outside because. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I mean, uh, you had your scythe with you when you got out of killing his face, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> killing what's that? Whatever killing the his fuck. Face. Killing his face. Uh, so what is I'll, I'll reach out to the Raven Queen and see mm -hmm. if she can, like, guide me. And tell me what the fuck is up. Uh, you get no reply. Balls. I'll reach out to Thor. Uh, Thor. I'll reach Thor. out to Hor and be like, Bro, what the fuck's going on? Where's my thingy? I mean, roll. you can roll a religion check. Yeah. This is my first roll of the day. That's an eight. <laughs> you don't really hear anything. You're like, cool, 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 cool. All right, well. You kind of, I mean, you can go, go to different conclusions. You don't know if Absidy is pretty sneaky. Esmeralda could have taken it. Did you take my shit? No, I can't even use your shit. I'm a little guy. Okay. Did you leave it in the other room? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I was a little cautious because we were, you know, sleeping in a den full of werewolves, so I kind of hardly slept, <clears throat> but I didn't hear any noises coming aside from, you know, other things. Okay, and then I'll, I'll walk and I'll try to go after Esmeralda. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, so you're you're all finished getting dressed and whatnot. Um, while they're doing this, yeah. I'm going to sit in the center of the room. Okay, I'm going to take twenty five gold pieces and kind of like lay them out and just. Stack them in. Stack them in. That's pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to sit, light some incense, and close my eyes, mm -hmm. and ritually cast Divination. Okay. And throw out there uh, to any of the old gods, uh, what path should we move forward mm -hmm. to complete our task. and Which is to, to kill Strahd? To kill Strahd. Okay. And uh, for any of you that don't know, divination <coughs> is uh, you offer up uh, 25 gold pieces worth of materials and it will contact a god or a god servant. I can ask a single question of a specific goal or activity within the next seven days and the GM will reply in a phrase, cryptic rhyme, or an omen. Um, okay. So while you, you kind of concentrate and you have the, the 25 gold reached out, um, your mind kind of goes blank. You go into that, that place of, uh, between consciousness and unconsciousness. Uh, you start smelling uh, decay and uh, the, the smell of the dry heat of the desert. And as, but as you open your eyes, you're still in a black room and you see under you this uh, this onk that's been kind of carved out of uh, marble and in front of you you start hearing a hissing and it's you're 100 yards staring at as you see a very large uh, human hand kind of come out another one crunch down and very slowly but surely you see the head of a cobra come out and its eyes are red and you see it scuttle, and it looks to be like a Yuanti. And it looks in front of you, and it crisses, crosses its uh, its legs, and it looks at you. And without saying the words, you see it press its hands together, and it outstretches. And out, out of the smoke that it seems to be uh, configuring from its hands, you see this castle that forms on it. And these raindrops just storm, just berating, berating this castle. 
And then in the middle of the castle, you see just a very small burst of what seems to be like sunlight. As it crushes back the castle and <laughs> you wake back up. And all of the gold that you have put laid out is just globs of mud. Okay. Good to know. I, uh, grab my stuff and I head into the other room with everybody else. Cool. You guys doing anything while Rufio jetted? Uh, <clears throat> nope. Cool. I already have my stuff packed up and ready to go. Okay. Rufio, what are we doing? I'm just gonna ask Esmeralda if she knows what happened to my scythe or like where it could be or. So you're kind of, uh, you follow her uh, outside because you can kind of see like her looking outside in this, the dim sunlight's kind of coming out and she's looking over at the kind of the horizon. Um, and you're like, yeah, hey, have you seen my scythe anywhere? And she kind of looks at you and she goes, no, I'm sorry. I haven't seen anything. Hmm. I had it last night. Okay. Now it's gone. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> and I'll, uh... I'll try to do... I'll try to, like, manifest it. Okay. I'll try and, like... So, you kind of concentrate on it, and, uh... Over your hand, you see a, a slit just kind of form in reality. Like, it just looks like it appears out of thin, thin air. You can see it. And it's slowly but surely you start seeing the slit open up. And you hear the wails of the dead. And you see the, the ethereal spirit of Shadowfell. i reach inside. You reach inside and you feel something cold. And you feel the leather handle of your scythe. As Esmeralda's looking at you, and your hair completely just disappears, and you slowly pull out the scythe, and it's just uh, the ethereal energy is just wisping off of it. As you see the seal close and shut, and you put your hand back and f- found it. You are just full of surprises, aren't you? Apparently. Good. And I'll let it go and have it. Then you see it, it just pops. goes away. This is gonna be fun. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> so, as the rest of the party kind of comes out, Esmeralda kind of looks at all of you and she goes, alright, boys, what's next? Um, so, while we were all getting ready and y'all were looking for the scythe and all that, I decided to ritually do divination. And look into where our path should lead us next. Next, um, and I, then I described the vision. I described the. Mm-hmm. Is it was it Ravenloft? Is that what castle? It was Ravenloft. Okay. Uh, what is it? I described Ravenloft. I described the sunburst in the middle of the castle, um, and uh, so this is from me asking where should our path lead us to defeat Strahd, and this is the vision that I got. So, I feel like we have to move towards Ravenloft. What we're seeking to help is there. It's a big castle, though. I've never seen it in person, so... Wait, we, we know it's a big castle, right? I mean, yeah, we've, we've seen it. We've, we've passed it. Yeah, <coughs> we've yeah, passed it. W- where? In the castle? Yeah, where in the castle? He could be anywhere. It was... It was... I saw where in the castle it was, You right? just saw that I just saw that light. it was in the center. It was just dead center. It just showed that okay. there was... I don't know exact location yeah. where... In the castle, and I don't know what we're looking for, but whatever it is, isn't there. Sharp might know, though. He could be able to figure it out. Because all he I saw, it was, like a, it was like a sunburst in the middle of the castle. Wait, that's not Strahd. The yeah. sunburst wouldn't be Strahd. That, no. Is that maybe... Is the that, sun sword? The sun sword. Or what could would it be, be doing in Ravenloft? I mean, it was stolen from the Amber Temple. Is that, and that's why you were in the Ember Temple in the we first place. We were looking place. for it. That's where we thought it was. Wait, the Sun Sword? You... Okay, how do you guys know about the Sun Sword? Madam even told us about it. Of course she did. Yeah, 
That's why we were hoping that when we didn't find it in... When we didn't find it in the Amber Temple, that maybe it was at Van Richten's. Okay. Because we know he wants to kill Strahd, too. Maybe he would have the tools. Yeah, you told us that you'd be able to find it if we didn't burn your tarot cards. <laughs> I mean, I'd be able to look it up, but... Yeah, I don't have those anymore. What if we find you another set? Only other way I'd be able to get another set would be, I don't know, another town. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, Isn't there a town relatively close to here? And you see her, and she kind of pulls out this this crude map that Rudolph must have drawn. There's a town, Kresik, but I've never been there. I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I mean, I've not. It'd be nice to have a bed for another night, get some actual hot food. I mean, it's Maybe. about... A few days out, but... Uh, before we... I I think that needs to be our next stop. But we also need to start rounding up these armies if we're going to attack Castle Ravenloft. Uh, Because, let's see, we got the werewolves. Yeah. Berserkers. Yeah. Were-ravens. Yes. Uh, Revenant. The Revenants. Sorry. Uh, (laughs) Right now... The Knights of the Silver Dragon, yeah. Yeah, the Knights of the Silver Dragon... Am I missing anybody? What about Ismark? Yeah. The Dusk Elves. The Dusk Dusk Elves. elves. We could call it Ismark. Is there anywhere that they can rally? Any rendezvous point? I I think we need to to send everyone to the... the, uh, What about Village of Barovia? That's... We want to go to Barovia? I was going to say to uh, the castle where the, the dragons of the... The, the Knights of the Silver Dragon are. That's true, too. I mean, How but, far is that from, Bar- from the castle? Yeah, because Barovia is a like, few days from the castle, but yeah. I think the the tower was a lot farther. Was it not? Yeah. If no. we get everyone to start moving now, maybe we can ask the werewolves and they can, you know, relinquish the message to everyone. Meet us at Barovia. One last hurrah. And I'll, uh, I'll turn back to the cave. Mm-hmm. And I'll call for all of the werewolves of the Blackthorn to meet me out in front. Okay. And you see them slowly but surely, like the guards kind of like go back in and you hear them in this uh, this kind of primordial, like primal language. And you see all of them kind of come up. You see Petra, like they're all, they all look like people. They're not, they're not in wolf form or anything like they just look like some able-bodied, some old, like they all kind of come out. There's at least 20 of them, 20 or 30. And I'll I'll look at them, and uh, <clears throat> I know everyone is a little in shock over what happened yesterday. I'm not here to be a dictator. I'm not here to tell you what you need to do. But we have one fight coming. And we're going to take down Strahd von Zarevich, and I need you to be a part of it. After that, you have your freedom. Take up a new pact leader. Do whatever it is that you see fit. Whatever it is you'd like to do. But right now, I need you on my side. I need you to go to the Dusk Elves, to the Knights of the Silver Dragon. I need you to go find Ismark. I need you to go, and I'll just let every, them you know let, everyone. Listen, everyone off. Let them know we're meeting in the town of Barovia. We will be marching on Castle Ravenloft. This ends now. Come ready. But do not harm anyone else in your travels. If you do, I will find out, and there will be consequences. As you say this, um, there's a, um, a slightly older woman, uh, dark skin. She has graying kind of uh, dreadlocks that are pulled back. She's in this kind of uh, makeshift leather kind of armor. She looks like to be a general, if anything, maybe like a under command. Yeah. And she kind of comes up to you and puts her forearm out, grasp it. She goes, Vasaya. I would lead them. I'll make sure we get this done. Thank you. I assume you're in charge. 
I was when Carol was alive. Then let's keep it going. She nods. And you hear her, and she go. She says something in, in that primal language, and everyone just kind of like snaps too. And you see everyone kind of just spread out. And you see her, and she, she nods, flicks her, her thumb on her nose, and shifts. And everyone shifts, and they, they start packing out. How <coughs> long would it take us from here to Barovia? Oh, A hot minute. Barovia's yeah, far. Barovia's far. I'll, look, I'll pull out the map that I got Yeah, from... Uh, Casimir. Casimir. Mm-hmm. And I'll look and I'll like point and I'll be like, that not. We have a little bit of time, but it needs to be. If we're going to make a stop in this town, it needs to be quick. Yeah. We can't be there for multiple days. We have to travel. Out of game, like how no. like, distance wise, how much? I would say, say? Uh, by foot uh, and not by horse, it'd probably take about a month and a half. A month and a half? Mm-hmm. All right. We have horses. So. I'm just saying. Like, oh, you know, yeah. With horses, then it would be about like a, a month. month. Okay. We travel a lot faster on horses than walking. Yeah, but you're... It's we still to, across the to, side of the map. stop for horses. And... It's still like... So before... Oh, it? Yeah, it's, oh, it's okay. literally on the other side of the map. So okay. now we have the werewolves. Yeah. I can cast sending and message the leader of the berserkers if you want, and tell them to meet us in Barovia in a month's time. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna cast Sending and say this is Thok, Slayer of Sangzor. We're collecting an army to take down Strahd. Come fight. Meet in Barovia a month's time. You can reply. Okay. Uh, you got 25 words, I think. Is what yep, you, and so like, you kind of hear the... Oh, oh, I wrote it down. You hear that... <laughs> You hear that that woman's voice, and she goes, "Got it." Cool. They're on board. That was quick. They just said, "Got it." <laughs> <laughs> They're not people of many words. <laughs> Shark, you're just kind of watch talk like. And then, meanwhile, he's like, "I'm waiting for a reply." Yeah, they got it. They're in. <laughs> and you're like, "That happened like so fast." I didn't even. I, I couldn't even Aliens. keep up with you. <laughs> Aliens. All right, let's uh, let's do. Let's, let's get some chow and let's eat some rations. Make our way to Kresik. Kresik. Okay. How uh, far is Kresik? It's about three days. days. Three days. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything we're doing in that three days? Just looking around, absorbing nature. Oh God. <laughs> I'm just uh, checking for any kind of things that I could see that you know. I'm still looking just for hints to. Where Paul, where where Vin's at? Okay. I can find any any tracks, anything that looks reminiscent of him. Nothing really in this region. I have a feeling, but that's yeah. still my goal. Yeah. Um, really quick, sure. when I did the the tome of understanding, or yeah, the tome of understanding, mm-hmm. and I added two to my my wisdom. Yeah, my passive perceptions significantly higher now. Just okay. so you know, it's not this high, but it's still <laughs> short. Okay. It's broken. What is your? What's it at now? Sixteen. Nice. Oh, you're almost. I'm seventeen. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I thought you were eighteen. Yeah, you jumped yeah. ahead of me too. Yeah. Eleven. Well, it, g- <laughs> it gives me two two points of wisdom. Gotcha. So it like. Yeah. Um. I will be. I'm gonna just be fucking with like the dimension. Like okay, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I can do. Yeah. So you guys are kind of watching Rufio play with his new powers, and you know. This is so weird. You're showing off a little bit. I, uh, during those three days at some point, I would I would have asked the group if mm-hmm. anyone has a picture of the sword or anyone knows what it looks like or if there's any, like, visual reference of said thing. Uh, even Esmeralda as well. Yeah. Like, to see if she... Yeah, it's kind of all... Yeah, we haven't seen it. No. We just know that it's something helpful. That's really Maybe all we got. Whenever we get there, see if there's... I mean... How would we know? Uh, out of game, real quick. Yeah. Remember when was I don't remember if it was audio or like a vision, and mm-hmm. it was the two thieves that I met from the thieves camp, and they yeah. had it. Scroll, and yeah, Rocky. scroll and Rocky. yeah, scroll and Rocky. Mm-hmm. Did was it a vision or was it audio only? For for see for it was only audio. Yeah, okay, audio. okay, uh, okay. Yeah. You There's, just heard the clattering and the. Oh, <laughs> sorry, because the moment I know what something looks like, the moment I've seen this object, I can cast locate object, and I have to be within a thousand feet, and it'll give me a general direction where it is. I'm I just sh- don't know what it looks like. I'm sure we can. I'm sure someone knows what it 
looks like there has to be something somewhere. The two thieves that I met, we heard the audio of them having the sword. Maybe I can contact them again when we get to Kresik. I'll pull out a thieves can, see if they they show up. It doesn't hurt. I mean, I can try using using that scrying spell that did this to my voice and see if I can watch Strahd. If I get lucky, maybe he'll be around it. If he knows it's there, he could just be lost in the castle. It's, it's fucking huge. And that's the thing. It's like, what are the chances that he's going to be near the sword when oh, you look? I know. I don't that's think slim. I wouldn't be willing to burn that. Yeah. It, it's going to be the only chance we have to kind of know where he is or where your brother is. Yeah, and I it's, three I think shots. I know. Finding your brother is I know I can get important. through to my brother on one. I know that. Well, then let's let's keep those other two for now. Yeah. When we get closer, we'll... If, if we have to, you know, if it's a it's just a prayer, then we'll try it, but... Um, I'll look at Esmeralda, mm-hmm. and I'll ask her, you know, do you... Do you know of anyone that knows it? Do you know if it's... There's a... I mean, I've only heard stories about it. Would Van Richten know? He, I don't think he's even seen it. He's the one who told me the stories. It's literally a blade made out of sunlight. <clears throat> All right. Well, well, we'll see what we can find in... Where the hell are we going? Kresik. Kresik. Kresik, yeah. We'll see what we can find there. Okay. Anything else that we're doing? Um, I'll keep like anytime I'm around dirt, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna be like, birthday's coming. And he's like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nine more days. I just, I really, I'm, I'm actually just pretty pumped that I'm actually gonna live to get to it, you know? Because we got like the month out, and the, and then I'm gonna be like 13. Big strong man. I'd, I'm, I'm ready to hit puberty. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna. Uh, no, I'm ready to. And during like breaks and stuff, mm-hmm. I'll uh, I'll spar with him. Okay. To kind of like get him. I, it, role play. Uh, okay, let's do it. <clears throat> in. I want you in in the castle with us. Really? Yeah. You can be a huge help. So I want to make sure that your skills are fine tuned as well as they can be. That's fair. Can I? I'm working on something. Okay. And so you guys are kind of like off to the forest. You have these logs. So do you remember you told me about Hor when you accepted all of his oaths? That kind of happened to me, but with Lathander. Uh-huh. No. I hate that guy. He's not very fond of you either. Great. But I've been working on something. And you see him and he kind of puts the morning star, the blade, like very far away. Mm-hmm. And he gets even farther at least 120 feet between them he's like okay this kind of happened by accident the first time and I've pelted myself in the head a few times but (laughs) and you see him and he puts his hand out and you're looking at him and he's like it takes a minute and you hear the morning start start to wiggle and you see it shoot from across the 120 feet and it just goes into his hand do we see this? Whoa! So, uh, I, I concentrated on it, and yeah, wherever. I don't even have to be wielding it, it just comes to me. Can you do that with any weapon, or just the Morning Star? I, I don't know, I haven't really tried. I'll take the butt into the <clears throat> scythe, and I'll try and bring it down on him and see if, like how his reaction is. You see him hold it up, and you kind of keep pummeling at it, and you see his grip loosening on it, but it's not moving. It's staying in his grasp. It's not... It, it's it's literally like, I can't drop it. Well, that's good. Let's make sure that that stays that way. And I'll, like, mess his hair up. <laughs> hey, hey, Dirt. Yeah. Can you... Okay, put it, put it back in the ground. Okay, now walk over there. Okay, and he walks over there. And I hold on to it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Do it again! And you, and you see him, and <clears throat> he puts his hand out, and you feel it shake within your body, and you're like, I'm gonna hold on to it. And it literally just starts pulling you over to him, and it's starting to gain speed as his hand is out. <gasps> what? <laughs> can I and hold on? Do I? You roll a strength check, see if oh you can boy. hold on to it. 
is a terrible idea. 14. 14? You never know. It could come in handy. You hold on to it, and you just, as soon as it gets into his hand, your body keeps moving. You you are you go around him and you take two points of force damage as you roll <laughs> past him. Oh, worth it. We're gonna use that. You guys are stupid. You're stupid. Now, will it always come to your hand or can you push it away like control? I don't know it? if I've ever like I can try to and you see him kinda of like try to push it and it doesn't So it just always comes back. And you s- kinda of picks it up and he kinda of, Olympia kind of shoots it, and he puts his hand back out, and in midair, it stops, turns back around, and gets back into his hand. Cool. And that's 120 feet? Mm-hmm. Nice. Hell yeah. He is basically a Mjolnir. That's that's sweet. For the hell of it, I throw my mace and see if I can do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see your mace go, doom. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> You're so stupid. Uh, I, go, I go and get it. I'm going to cast Unseen Servant, and mm-hmm. I'm going to have it bring th- Thox Mace back. <laughs> and it's very slow. <laughs> Do I notice this? I mean, your perception is pretty high. <laughs> you're like, like oh. you you appreciate the trying. And you're like, oh, wow, it really happened, I, guys. I did it. <laughs> it took so long, though, I wouldn't do that in battle. <laughs> Thanks, Rufio. <laughs> we we should figure out how these the things work before we fight Strahd, I think. I'm also going to have the Unseen Servant go over and sack tap Shart. <laughs> <laughs> what? You sack feel tap? a very sharp like, pain like in your nuts. On your testicles. <laughs> and oh, you, you drop to kind of one knee, you're like... <clears throat> and now your voice is shallow and high. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Nailed it. Help me. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what objects? Just what other objects do we have that we need to find out how they work? I mean, I I took I took paladin oaths, man. I've got like things now. Yeah. Uh, these and I summon the the hellhounds. Oh, those are new. Those are new. Nice doggy. Eh. <laughs> and he's he's licking him. I'm gonna grab the staff of frost just and and watch. just kind of hold it. Yeah. Okay. I got these hands. <laughs> you can catch a cold. Or you can catch <laughs> these hands. Shart, you can see where anyone is at any given moment. That's not, more powerful than... That's not exactly how it works, though. The details that he gave me about it is I have to have a connection to them, and that's going to determine how effectively I can try and see them. That's still really strong. I know. That's why I know I'll be able to see, I'll be able to see Vin no problem. Strahd might be a little bit harder. But I'm sorry, I gotta know where my brother's at to try and get him. That's even if Strahd just doesn't tell us. He's kind of pompous that way. Well, yeah, he's a prick. He's doing alright. <laughs> so, of uh, money and land. Full disclosure, yeah. just to kind of like, we need to come up with a plan, obviously. So, having a, knowing everything that we have would help with that. So, I have. And I'll tell you, I have a ring of fire resistance with half damage on fire. If anyone else can benefit from it, let me know. You can borrow it. But just let me know. Um, I have boots of Elvenkind. It kind of helps me be a little stealthier because as it is, my armor is very clinky. And uh, I need to get a pair of those. They're nice. Yeah. But I'm not as willing to part with those. That's fine. <laughs> I, need but, to get, I need to get a pair uh, for myself. I have a hat of disguise. <laughs> So I can, obviously you've seen that in action. And then I have my mace. Um, and my mace, I can do this. And I use one of the charges and cast darkness Ooh. in the distance. Okay. Um, I can do that up to four times a day right now. So that was number one. But I figured this is one of the random three days. Yeah. Yeah. So I can cast darkness. So those are the main things I can do with items. I mean, spells, it all depends on the day. I prepare them beforehand. And now that's that's magic darkness, not real darkness. That's right? magic darkness. So I can't see through that. Channel. Nobody nope. can. Most of... Unless you well, have true sight. Most of nobody can unless you have true sight. I can. <clears throat> you can? I can now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Go ahead, roll persuasion on that one, buddy. No, I do. He do does. you really? Yeah, true devil sight. sight. He just oh, that's right. Uh, invocation. Yeah. So More powers. That, that can... That could come in handy, because that could be one of those, we can use darkness somewhere, 
If you could see through it. My pups, too. I give them a little little shake. And I hop up on one of them. Ho-ho. Ho-ho, <laughs> to show that I can also... Like, write, write it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, the only thing that can dispel is, uh, I think, daylight can dispel darkness, and I obviously dispel magic. But, I mean, anybody else? I mean, I could talk to animals. Hey, let's help before. Those what? snakes on the wall. What kind of animals does Strahd normally? <clears throat> Rats, bats, um, wolves. I can also, um, just because we've only, I've only had to use it like once. Um, I can also cast Beast Sense, which Beast Sense gives me the ability, if I can, touch that beast. Um, for the duration of doing it, I can see through their eyes. So, okay. could end up being helpful too. So I wonder, would you be able to touch one of your hounds and see through its eyes and absolutely tell it what to do? Well, absolutely, I don't want to impose, but if I mean, you want to let me try again. Yeah, go ahead. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? All right well. And I, I tell, he's, he's a little nervous. Okay. So I tell him, hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Does so you see this chubbier of the two hellhounds kind of come up. I'll let him puts his head down. Let him sniff me. Sniffs and does he have a name? Uh, yeah, it's X Y Z. Okay. And I cast B sense. And soon you close your eyes. You see Shart's eyes roll to the back of his head, and Shart, you're looking at your knees, but not like looking down. Um. It doesn't say. But can I still talk to the group? You can talk, you just can't hear. I, okay, so no, I can't hear can't them because I'm seeing through. and hearing through that. Right. <clears throat> it works. And I hop on XYZ's back. Okay. Ha ha! How far can you... Because I'm assuming you can still hear me through the dog. Yeah, uh, we can still how, hear. How far can... Or how long can you hold this for? Or how far... Up to an hour. Concentration, though, so... Yeah. Shit. Rufio is very uncomfortable. Okay. And Rufio is visibly uncomfortable. Does he then control? No. No, you just He just has it. a mental link with him. You, oh, okay. you still I still control. He can just see and hear it through it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? So. Cool. Okay. Uh, you guys have gotten to see what the Staff of Frost can do. There's something that I think could be helpful if we get into a bad spot in the simple. castle. It's called Wall of Ice, and I can create literally a wall of ice between us and Strahd. Um, It can buy us a little bit of time to heal, potentially. Uh, Maybe not much. It's one foot thick, and it lasts for until he busts through. Um, It also gives me cold resistance. And... Yeah, I mean, that's all I really... Anything new I have. Does does the wall of ice apparate, or does it grow from a surface? It just appears. It, it can go wherever I want in the shape that I want it to go. But it just it just happens. It doesn't grow from a... From... Is it like... Or just... Is there, like, a limit to the size of it? Or is it just as big as you want it? It, uh... I can form it into a hemispherical dome or sphere with a radius of up to 10 feet. I can shape a flat surface panel made of 10 10 10-foot square panels. Each panel must be contiguous with another panel in any direction, uh, in any form. It's one foot thick, and it cuts through a creature's space when it appears. So it just comes up. It just appears. So if Strahd's in the way and I cast it, he'll be pushed to one side and he gets hit pretty hard. That's an option. And if he punches it. through it, it all he also takes frigid damage, nice. or cold damage. That's good. Now, one thing that I remember, I just remembered that Anubis said, I'm pretty sure I've told you this, is that Strahd can take many forms. He can turn it to gas, or f- fog, mm-hmm. a swarm of bats. Mm-hmm. We've seen uh, that. Like, so how, how tight <clears throat> is this wall? 
I mean, I can do it in whatever form we want as long as it's 10 by 10. Okay. I can put a, a, a dome around us if that's something that we want he can't go to do. Is the glass... It, glass. Is the gas flammable? Strahd's gas? It's like fog. It's not I don't know. So it's like, <laughs> no. I don't okay. think you can light him on fire. I don't think that's how <laughs> I'm it I'm just hoping. <sighs> I'm asking. <laughs> but... Okay. Other than that, I have one other thing that I just learned, but I'm going to keep that to me for now. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Cryptic. Um, to buy us some time, if it ever comes to that, I can also cast Banishment. So oh, I can banish someone. It, <laughs> o- so cool. it only lasts for one minute, and it is concentration. Banishment. So... If, you know, if we're, for example, being hounded by a lot of his minions, minions I guess is the word, yeah. Um, and there's one head bitch in charge that we need to take out last or first or something. I can always banish that one, take care of the rest. But just know that after a minute, yeah, it's coming back. That one's coming back. Yeah. Because, yeah, unless I get hit, then it might be coming back sooner. Mm hmm. So, but still, still helpful. That's it's an it's an option. So, and I can, as of now, hopefully it never comes to this. But if any of you die, I can bring one of you back as long as it's within a minute of you dying. After that, Wee. it's out of my hands. <laughs> that's oh that's dead dead. Not that's dead dead. Gotcha. That is like your heart has dead. stopped for. At most, a minute. Are you okay with that? I know your whole, like... I mean, if Anubis lets me... I mean, revivify, revivifying someone is different than raising. Re- re- raising the dead. Or resurrection? Resurrection is also different. Like, I was resurrected. Okay. I'm just, so, I'm just trying to But I'm not rules. considered undead. So That's anything fair. that comes back as undead, or something that, like, a lich who extends their life mm-hmm. outside of the normal boundaries of the balance of the universe sure then that is what i'm against so So i can revivify at least one of you but it's 300 gold pieces i have 500 right now so that's why i say one i have 300 gold pieces if anything i can always rob whoever died and bring you back with your own money i have 300 gold not like having it in like a pouch and then we could put it in our in our like belt and you can just kind of like push it into our chests like or a side pouch i mean yeah like a death pouch there you go death pouch. just don't lose that death pouch okay i'll try um one more thing i will say one more thing. i think in fighting these things and undead and whatnot radiant damage is good dirt and i both have the ability to smite so if I have I have a lot of radiant, yeah. if Thok casts Path to the Grave, make oh, yeah. sure to let I us like hopefully be the ones to attack next. Because if we hit with a smite, it's gonna hit big. Yeah, I can. Path to the Grave helps someone die faster. Yeah, but worked on the dragon. As a reaction, I forgot that I could do this, too. It's been a while since I've done this. Mm -hmm. I also have an ability called Sentinel at Death's Door. So if anyone hits you with a critical hit, I can cancel out that critical. You're still going to get hit, but it's just not going to be critical. It's It's just going to be straight. As much ouchies. Is that a uh, a one-time thing? Out of game? No, I I can do it multiple times. Uh, I... I have to look. I think it's like three or four times. Okay. Um, any it, as a reaction, I can use uh, that to instead of a double die, it's just a it's regu- just a, it's just a regular hit. Yeah. So you're yeah. not getting double the amount of damage. Right. So yeah. that's that's I where it cancels out. out the critical. Okay. So Sweet. that's yeah, great clerics. See, we're learning. Learning. <laughs> Learning's good. I'm learning, glad you're learning. learning. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. I could. How many times can I do that? Oh, four times. <laughs> There you go. That's and nice. uh, okay. I can use Eyes to the Grave 2 to see undead within 60 feet of me four times a day as well. So that's also another ability, not a spell or anything. So Cool, 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 cool. 
Oh, cool, so. cool, cool, cool. I don't know if we were still in game. <laughs> oh, no, no, I was just... We're in game. All right. All right. But, uh, what about Esmeralda? Is there anything else that we don't know about her that she could bring to the table? I mean, I'm a, I'm a spellcaster, so I got a couple of spells and tricks up my sleeve. You prefer to stay distant? That's your... <laughs> Not with Rufio. You have something to say? <laughs> you guys had sex. Nope. I start and walking away. <laughs> oh, start, no, I'm happy for you guys. I start walking away. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. <laughs> Why was the comment necessary? So I wanted to let you guys know I knew. Why? <laughs> because I like both of you. Why not, not saying, like, giving him a pat on the shoulder? I mean, I don't... Fuck wanna... that shit, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> do you I, want a pat on the shoulder? No, I don't want you to touch me. So... Do you want me to give him a pat on the shoulder? No, I'm just saying I feel like this interaction's unnecessary. I mean, aren't can all you, interactions can unnecessary? You cast silence on him. I, I mean, hashtag deep. I cast silence hashtag in the area. Wow. <laughs> so now the whole area is just. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, what are they saying? <laughs> I can't read lips, but I think I think it's in the area. I think Esmeralda said up. something about a duck, <laughs> a duck Jew, <laughs> and then I, I'll drop it. Um, okay, you guys doing anything else for the next three days? Avoiding any kind of eye contact with Absidy, apparently. Uh, <laughs> it's like you guys fucked. <laughs> I would say I, I would I would practice with dirt as well, just okay. to like have him face different foes and opponents cool. just to different sizes and abilities yeah and I you kind of see his, like his he's kind of honing those skills that you know he's he's showed like sparks of improvement but it seems like now with this this new kind of like bump he seems a little bit more in control of what he can do potential one of the things that i want to do is uh if absent is willing i just miss the pack mentality so if he wants to bring the hellhounds out i just like playing with him Okay. Yeah, that actually ties in because I was gonna say that I want to just practice my combo moves with people. Okay. So like working with the hounds with him, mm -hmm. um, the Morning Star shoot thing. Okay. We had something. I think it was shooting. Oh, shooting an arrow. Like no, that was a different person. Oh, cool. Thanks. Oops, sorry. It wasn't you. It wasn't even Absidy. Gross. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Whatever. I just... She's not here. She's in Canada. <laughs> but she's totally you, real. You've never met her. <laughs> yeah, it was just practicing so that we're all on the same page when the fight happens. Okay. And I have this this book, and I don't remember what it does. I gotta find it. Great. It's, uh, it's like Greasy Tome or something like that. It's a cookbook. <laughs> it's a cookbook. It just says Nasty Book. It was a. It was like a book on like devils and shit. Wasn't that? Wasn't it like? Oh, that, that was the book I was reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is is the one that you found Lucifer? Yeah. Symbol in it. So I can, but I can. You can read up about yeah, other just, demons. I'll and keep whatnot. reading on it. Any, just, kind of any sort of knowledge. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll a uh, intelligence check for me. See if you can comprehend anything you've read. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good sound. Ten. Um. You read a little bit more about Lucifer, because Lucifer's been pretty, like, distant as far as his history. And you see that um, in the beginning there was Ao, and Ao was the creator of all the different realms and planes, and he created a son, which was Lucifer. And Lucifer, being bored with just him and Ao, decided to create life on the different planes uh, that Ao did not really take kindly to. Um, <clears throat> Lucifer was very, from what it seems like, he was very humanitarian. He was about these things that he created and giving them free will and making sure, you know, they don't have to believe in Ao if they don't want to. Um, and that he was he was banished into uh, a separate plane that you would know was hell. Um, and it does see, it does talk about uh, Lucifer having several children. Lucifer has seven, several, mm -hmm. several, okay. several children. Okay. Anything on what the kids look like, who they are? Not with that low roll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not with that shit. Uh, I'm gonna try, keep trying to reach out to the Raven Queen. Haven't heard from her in a while, and I'm yeah. getting concerned. Every time you do, there's just kind of that, that silence. That's muted. And I'll also always, like, obviously, like, yeah, in horror her, as well, but, like, change. be like, hey. What's going is, on? Is everything happening? What the fuck is the deal? 
you, you don't get much more. But, <clears throat> okay, so as the three days kind of go by while you're all doing this, um, this winding road slowly um, takes you to this giant field that in the distance you can see the outskirts of this town and as you get closer and closer it's immaculate it's massive uh these buildings are they're very modern from what i can kind of describe like they're very angular there's glass everywhere there's kind of like a fountain in the middle of the town as you guys get closer you see there are no people though there's literally zero like there's not Vistani, there's no you hear birds like not even ravens you hear birds you see different kinds of trees that are not creepy looking they're like oak trees and like elms and you're kind of all walking through this town and you see this very very small uh i would say no bigger than this large wide around just ray of sunlight actual sunlight that's just going to a particular pinpoint and as you get closer it seems to be like it's like made out of plywood it looks to look like a little lemonade stand and it's hitting directly onto the stand and you see painted on the outside of it uh, w y z u r d and you see like a little sign and it says be back in five and there's like a little bell. <laughs> Wizard. I'm gonna be cautious and have my mason shield. Okay. I'm gonna ring the bell. So you hear a ding and uh, a moment passes and you kind of hear a pop and you see a very small, they're about three feet tall. You see a gnome, he's in, um, kind of like this blue and orange polo uh he's got a mustache and he's got kind of like this skullet thing very <laughs> long hair he's got like what seems to be a whistle around his neck and he's just kind of going ah, 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 ah. oh hey what's going on my dudes <laughs> and we're gonna end it there <laughs> <laughs> what uh. the fuck <laughs> well 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 I wonder who that could be. That's it. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell oh, us God. your favorite color. And um, also your favorite candy bar. What's Ready? up, my dudes? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye.